We've all been on a plane before, but have you ever just had an urge to start flexing your muscles, doing a few gymnastics here and there, maybe eat a meal, listen to your friend while on the plane? Well, if you haven't, don't worry, because these monsters have got you covered. Hello everyone and welcome back to Game Panda. Today we are playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and that's right, today we are playing a brand new deck. It's an Itsu deck, I think? I don't even know. They're not even the same archetype or anything like that, but um, you got Koitsu, Doitsu, Aitsu, and Soitsu. So, I don't know. They're just all on paper airplanes. They're all doing their own things. They're having a good time, just like how we are with this deck. It's nothing serious. It's nothing crazy. It's just a fun little deck that we made we can play maybe kind of like aqua actress where it's not really going to do much it's very gimmicky it's a union deck unions are never used almost ever and it's really just more of a cheese deck just for fun so the deck that we are running is two koitsu three doitsu two aitsu and three soitsu uh soitsu and doitsu have to go together and aitsu and koitsu have to go together so red and blue and then gold and green go together yellow and green and then for our spell and trap cards we're running two msts a enemy controller three celestial transformations three floral shields a floodgate trap hole and two wall of disruptions so that way the ability we can run is balance so it should give us a two to one to one ratio of our spell trap cards and monster cards hopefully that's what we get from our balance but this deck is not a competitive deck. Big warning sign everywhere. Loud blaring noises. Not a competitive deck. This is purely for fun. It's just for fun. So let's go ahead and find ourselves an opponent here. What's a good deck that we can play against? Circus Trick. Circus Trick is actually not that bad. We can face against face against the Circus Trick deck with Itsu and see what happens. So we are going first, which is not the best for this deck because Celestial Transformation apparently doesn't activate your first turn. I learned that the hard way. But again, you can see the ratio 2 to 1 to 1. Pretty bad for the most part. You can only really just set cards and Soitsu has zero attack points so like nothing can happen with it at all but we can go ahead and activate floral shield as our main defense and then actually let's activate mst as well to get rid of one of his back row and then we get to draw a card so now we have an aitsu and a koitsu which go together but ooh, now we have a soitsu and a doitsu which go together however we need something to special summon them so a celestial transformation is the best way or if you have something that can help block like floral shield unfortunately we don't have either so we're gonna have to just end our turn and take some damage but this deck in general is kind of stally it's a little stally just because you have to wait for certain cards it's not like you can force cards to come to your hands or something like that but there we go we got a celestial transformation we normal summon soitsu we activate celestial transformation so we can special summon a doitsu then we activate doitsu's effect add it to soitsu over here so now he's got 2500 attack points and we can go ahead and take out one of his clowns there and then we can just go ahead and end our turn and Celestial Transformation can't activate causing Doitsu to go away. So it's pretty nice. But now Doitsu can stay on to Soitsu for a little bit and we can go ahead and attack. And then we're going to have to end our turn and Labyrinth of Nightmare is going to be whole nightmare itself. But you can see how this deck is kind of fun. It's interesting. I don't think you guys have ever seen a man just flexing on a paper airplane before so you know it's 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 fun it's fun koitsu and aitsu can only be used if you have two celestial transformation back to back and then on top of that both of them go to the graveyard at the end of your turn that's why we only have two of them i'm thinking it might be better to actually move them down to one each but that's up to you and then you just add more spell and trap cards if you want to do it that way because you should still meet the balance requirements because you're only getting rid of four monsters and we have 10 so that's still six so you're good to go but we ended up losing there just because of Labyrinth of Nightmare. But yeah, it's pretty fun. It's a fun deck to play. And just for funsies, we're going to go ahead and play this in PvP. See how it goes. I am going to make that adjustment that I mentioned. Where we go ahead and get rid of uh, one Koitsu and one Aitsu. So that way now we have 20. Perfect balance there. We have 8, 6, and 6. So we still should get 2 to 1 to 1 ratio. But let's go ahead and try this out in PvP. It's going to not work at all, but it's just going to be so funny. It's such a funny deck for no reason. I don't know why you would want to build this, but realistically, you probably have these cards just laying around somewhere. I know I did. Apparently, I had all four 
of like five five copies of each of them just lying around and I had no clue and I just was looking through the card catalog to think of a, a deck that I could potentially build for you guys while I waited for more gems and my luck to get better and I came across these guys and you probably have seen them before you just never really considered them as anything and they're they aren't anything but let's see what we can do in PvP all right we got me Rillin Rillin maybe Playing as Soul Burner. All right, so uh, Salamangrate is most likely going to be showing up here. We're going first. That sucks for us, but that's okay. This isn't going to be a legit deck or duel at all, so it's okay. We got a Koitsu starting hand, which is very, very interesting. But we can go ahead and basically set everything and just see how it goes. Um, if he's playing a Link deck, Floodgate Trap Hole probably won't work, but he's got to have some regular monsters in there that we can just get rid of essentially by facing them down because he's not going to have anything that does Ooh, he's playing a cyber deck okay that's fine um we are going to we are going to wait actually we're going to wait on activating floodgate trap hole just because this guy doesn't really do anything for him and it's really that guy that we want to get rid of so we can floodgate trap hole him put him face down and then he's going to attack for a thousand which is fine it should be fine actually we can take a thousand. You're gonna get in precarious situations, all right? You're gonna be running low on life points almost immediately. But we also only have a certain number of spell and trap cards, so we need to keep that in mind. All right, so it looks like he's just playing a basic cyberish deck with a bunch of random ones like that, like Bitron, he's not gonna be anything crazy. So if he's just gonna 1200 damage us, I'm fine with that. I think we let the 200 go, and then we activate Floral Shield here on the 1000 here just so we can draw a card because i feel like that's beneficial we get an mst okay fine he doesn't have anything in his back row so mst is not really important to us right now wall of disruption that's definitely going to be be useful i'm surprised we haven't gotten any monster card it's pretty weird especially since we have more monster cards than anything else in our deck but that's all right i guess let's see he just attacks 1200 again we take 1200 ay 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 all right we're gonna have to start doing something we're gonna have to start getting something here we need something no matter what we need two turns because we need a doitsu and we need a soitsu there's a floral shield okay we're gonna set a floral shield when he attacks with the thousand that's when we activate it and then it might actually just be useful to just go for a wall of disruption here but i'm afraid that he's gonna be able to like synchro summon or link summon or something he's gonna do something and we're gonna need that wall of disruption so i think we just keep waiting and use floral shield again so he goes ahead and summons firewall phantom hmm interesting interesting so good thing we uh have our wall of disruption here we can just go ahead and use that he's got a set card now so we can get rid of that with MST our next turn not have to worry about it he's going to attack we're immediately going to activate wall of disruption make sure he's got no attack points on anything and then we should be free to set up if we can if we get the monsters which surprisingly we have yet to get a monster which usually that's not the case usually I'm stuck with only monsters and not getting enough spell and trap cards oh my god that's so many we have yet to draw a monster since the duel started but I don't know if I mentioned this earlier it's very much of a stally deck this deck is super stally and honestly that's probably the the way you're gonna win is just by stalling out your opponent until they can't do anything else but I mean you should be able to deal a nice 2,500 damage, maybe 3,000 if you have two celestial transformations, a Koitsu and a Doitsu, or Aitsu, and you should be good. We're just calling them blue and red from now on. Blue pill, red pill. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland. Our opponent finally does something. I'm surprised he hasn't linked summon anything. He goes for a Yubel. Okay. Okay, interesting. That's definitely gonna be an issue for us because we have nothing that can do anything to Yubel. Yeah, that kinda sucks. That definitely sucks. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! But we're gonna have to activate Floral Shield here. Draw a card. Is it finally going to be a monster? It is, it's a Soitsu. Beautiful, now we just need a Doitsu and then we should be able to deal a nice chunk of damage to our opponent. And by nice chunk, I mean like 2,500. Or actually maybe not because he's just going to tribute Firewall Phantom for Yubel's effect. 
so you will can stay on the field. Yep. Okay. There's another soy too. All right. Not what we're looking for, but it's there. Let's go ahead and end our turn. See what happens. Our opponent now has a proxy horse out there. I'm generally confused. What is he doing? Why is he not link summoning and stuff? I know he's playing a cyber deck and all this and that, but like, you got seven link monsters right there. Go ahead and use them. There you go, there's one of them finally. Oh, he's got update jammer going, so I can't do anything, can I? Yeah, he can just negate that. Oh, he can't. I could have sworn he could have negated that. Oh, because it's not, it has to be face up only. Oh, okay. Huh? What? How did he still deal 2000 damage? Oh, so he just basically negated my card effect, but it was a visual, visual glitch where it didn't show the 2000. No, 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 that's just not the case. Past me is just very dumb and doesn't know how to read. Yeah, no, that th those did not go as planned, but that's not the point. This deck is just for funsies. It's just fun to play around with. You guys saw how you can do some funny business here and there. You guys get to see some cool men on paper airplanes. I mean, you know, who doesn't want to be doing gymnastics, having a nice little meal, listening to your friend talk and doing some poses, showing off to your friend. I mean, who doesn't want to do that while riding on a plane? And for some odd reason, if you do want to actually build this deck, let's go ahead and show you how to do it. Koitsu, you guys get from Primal Burst. Doitsu, you guys get from Primal Burst. Aitsu, you guys get from Primal Burst. And Soitsu, you guys get from Primal Burst. So basically, if you've ever opened up Primal Burst, you have these guys, because they're all normal. So you definitely have some of these if you have opened up Primal Burst ever. MST, you guys get from Anatomic Theory. Enemy Controller, you guys get from Ranked Duel Tickets. Hasey Cup Tickets. Apparently, it was in the, this event right here, which will never come back again. Um, friend Invitation Campaign Tickets, I guess. And more importantly, it's a drop from both of the Seto Kaibas. Celestial Transformation is the only one that you might not fully have, but you get two of them. One is from Dumon Starter Deck, and one is from Z1 Starter Deck. And then you can get your third one from the card trader, or you can just get all three of them from the card trader. Uh, Floral Shield is a Sherry draw. Floodgate Trap Hole, you guys get from next or Generation Next. And then Wild Disruption, you guys get from Servants of Kings. So that's the deck, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and let me know down in the comments below. Do you want to see more stupid decks like this? Do you want to see more decks that you mainly just use against Standard Duelists, or just to have fun for no reason? Let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.